In the neighborhood of Wicker Park stands the most talked about record store in Chicago, Reckless Records, located at 1379 North Milwaukee Avenue. Reckless Records has strived through the years, gaining a fan base of about 11,000 followers on Twitter. Not only do the fans love their wide variety of genres, but they also find the helpful staff and new location a huge plus. Uh, the history of the store goes way back. I believe it was 1984 was the first store in London. Then after that was the first Chicago store up on Broadway. That was in 1989. This store opened <laughs> two locations ago. We just moved into where we're at right now. I guess like our specialty is that we don't really have a specialty. We cover everything. It's like a blanket. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Uh, the genres that we carry in the store run the gamut. Um, I mean. You know, pop rock, hip hop, soul, jazz, punk, metal, experimental. I mean, we have, we've got it all. The new Taylor Swift, we've got that covered. If you want to get some guy that's just like making noise on like 16 tape recorders, then we probably have that too. You know, in-store performances, we do that from time to time. Um, those also kind of run the gamut. Well, we also do like meet and greets or signings where if a band's playing, maybe they'll come the day before, or, like the afternoon before. Uh, just recently, we had one of our uh, more notorious ones, um, which was the Insane Clown Posse. They just did a signing for their new album. Jack White played at our old store. That was kind of like a surprise last minute thing that we did. Um, I don't know, we had Major Laser. That was cool. I don't know, we've had all sorts of crazy stuff in here. Uh, for Record Store Day this past year, we had um, the bass player for Metallica, Robert Trujillo. Yeah, Record Store Day. Uh, that is now an annual thing. That's the good thing. It is a bit of a madhouse, but it also, we kind of embrace that, you know? So once a year when all the hype is surrounding Record Store Day and the releases and just everything about it, it really just gives us an excuse to say like, all right, like, you want to do this? Let's see like how crazy we can get it. It's a good thing because it raises awareness of the fact that stores are still here and, you know, thriving. Next time you're in Wicker Park or in need of a couple vinyls or maybe just to get a chill vibe, make sure to check out Reckless Records at their new location.